Hey, what's up guys? It's S2G and welcome back to another episode of my PSG career mode series. Now in this episode, we're going to be playing Saint Etienne, FC Lorient and Valencia. Now, I was going to be doing a squad report instead of that Valencia game, but I decided to play that Valencia game in this episode and then do a squad report in the next episode. And as for this game, I am resting a few players because some of these players aren't fit enough because... You know, they played in that, you know, in that game in which we completely destroyed Ajax. I think the score was 5-0, yeah. So I'm playing a few players like Lukaku and all. But as you can see, currently Lukaku is on the ball and his shot is saved by the keeper. That was a pretty, um, I, I don't know what to say about that shot. It wasn't a good shot because it was straight on at the keeper. But Sterling does the same thing again in the 26th minute of this game. He also gets a good chance, but he does hit the keeper. But in the 38th minute of this game, his shot hits the keeper and rebounds and goes in. Now, that was a bit lucky, but a goal is a goal and we will take that. But in the 48th minute of this game, they had a chance. It's Hamuma with the ball. And look at that for a strike. That was definitely one of the best goals I have conceded. And yeah, that was just wonderful. Look at that. A ball roll to get, go past the left back. And then a 1-2 with one of the, their plays. And that the finish was just exquisite. That's his fifth goal in the league. And obviously, later on in this game, Lukaku did have a chance. But he played it back to Pjanic, who played it to Toure. And whose shot is saved by the keeper. That was a very good shot. and But from that range, he really should have scored. But later on in this game, as we weren't getting much, you know, you know, any attacks going. So I decided to bring on Ibrahimovic and go with the formation. And the players up top I used against Ajax, and which completely destroyed them. And it was pretty much working this game, as in the 73rd minute, Royce has a chance. He shoots, but the keeper does save it. But we were making a lot of chances as soon as we did these substitutions, which is obviously good to see. And in the 88th minute, Marco Royce completely does the defender. He goes all the way down to the touchline and plays the ball back to Philippe Anderson, who finishes it with ease. That was a very good finish, obviously, on the volley. And a wonderful goal for Philippe Anderson, who has... I think this is the second consecutive goal he has scored. Obviously, he did score two against Ajax. But now he's on the ball in the 89th minute of this game, going down the wings. And he does play a ball to Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who gets a goal. And I think that's also his second consecutive game. He has scored. He definitely scored, I think, one or two against Ajax. And now he has scored another goal. And that's that for this game. We have beaten Sen at the end 3-1. And that's really an awesome result. Apart from that, guys, and I'm going to just ask you guys a request is that follow me on Twitter, guys. It, the link will be down in the description. And I'm just telling you guys to do that so that you never miss an upload. And I'll be also asking you guys on which video should I upload, which series I mean. So you guys can decide what I upload, when I upload and all that. So don't forget to follow me down on the Twitter. It's absolutely free. And the link will be down in the description. But now let's get on to the video. In the 28th minute of this game, FC Lorient, you know, got one of the, a very good attack actually. And that was a very good finish. The keeper had no chance. And I think it's Coffet who is playing. And definitely he didn't have a chance to save it. But in the 32nd minute of this game, Lukaku plays in a wonderful ball to Felipe Anderson, who finishes it with ease. That was a very neat finish from Felipe Anderson, who has scored in this third game running. Now, this guy is on a roll here. And if he plays like this, Marco Royce is going to have trouble, you know, getting a first team place. But in the 53rd minute of this game, we do concede a very rub a rubbish kind of a goal. Because the defense was... I, I don't know who was defending that, but that was just... Uh, pathetic defending from the defender obviously and that's why I decided to bring on a few players I'm obviously playing Felipe Anderson on the right and Zlatan Ibrahimovic as striker and Marco Royce on the left hand side this is obviously the formation I've used in the last two games and has been really successful also I have brought Yaya Toure on for uh, Nemanja Matic so that I get some more you know strength and pace and as you can see, Zlatan does play a ball to Marco Royce. And look at that for a finish with his outside of his foot. Outside, you know, that was an outside foot a shot. That was a very good goal from Marco Royce. The ball from Zlatan was perfect. And Marco Royce finished it with ease. But they do have a chance here to go 3-2 up. But the keeper, who is obviously Simeon Scuffet, does make a wonderful save. You know, to keep us in this game alive. And we still have around 20 minutes to get back into this game. And that's what we're going to do. As in the 72nd minute of this game, Royce plays in the ball to Zlatan Ibrahimovic, who shoots it with his left foot, I guess, yeah, left foot, and the ball just goes in. That was a very good finish from Zlatan. The ball from Royce was perfect. He just laid it off to Zlatan, whose finish was a very easy one. And that's that for this game, guys. We have beaten FC Lorient, which is obviously a very good result. And I'll be showing you guys the league table in a moment. And there is a lot of improvement from the previous episodes. Now we are in third place, and just... 
one point short of being the league leaders and hopefully in the next few episodes we can be the league leaders obviously winning the league is a very tough thing to do obviously and that is one of our objectives so we need to focus on that and apart from that guys have a look at our champions group, group champions league group i'll be showing that in a moment obviously currently we we and locomotive obviously psg and locomotive are tied on four points each so we're playing valencia that means we should win this game if we want to be in the top you know we want to take this top spot in our group and obviously guys we are playing at home at the park they pros against valencia obviously they are a fantastic side and they did beat Real Madrid earlier on when they met. Obviously, that game was played at the Mestalla. So they are a fantastic side, capable of big things. But unfortunately, in this game, currently they are in, in last place in the Champions League group. But if they win this game, this group might, you know, become a very tricky one. And obviously, I am going with a very strong lineup. I'm playing Raheem Sterling on the right, and yeah, it's a very strong lineup with players like Ibra, Royce, Yaya Toure, Pjanic, Matic, David Luiz. A very, just a very strong team. And I definitely believe this team can get a very good result against Valencia. Obviously, have a look at their team. Their team are not, not they're, they're not many stars in this team, but it's a very well-balanced team. They have some really pacey wingers like Pablo Piatti and Sofian Feguli. Also, they have a very good striker like Paco Alcacer or Alcacer, however you want to say it. And yeah, and they did have the first attack of this game in the second minute of this game. But the striker hits it wide. Now, that was a very good chance. And they do have another chance here as Alcacer goes in the box. But David Luiz does foul. And at this moment, I was thinking, oh, shit, it should not be a red card. It wasn't a red card. It was a yellow. But the penalty couldn't be saved. Mark andre Ter Stegen couldn't do anything to save the penalty. And Valencia are 1-0 up against PSG. But we are not going to be backing down so easily as Latan creates a very good chance for himself in the 15th minute of this game. But his shot goes wide. That was a very good and neat chance from Zlatan. He should have scored that. But he couldn't. In the 38th minute of this game, Sofian Feguli does play a ball to Paco Alcacer, whose shot goes wide. And that was good keeping from Ter Stegen to, you know, go up there and, keep, you know, make himself big. And yeah, and in the 35th minute, Zlatan does play a ball to Raheem Sterling, whose shot is then saved by Diego Alves, who has really kept Valencia up in this game. And there was nothing much happening then. And then I decided to make a few substitutions. I brought Verratti on for Matic and played two way in the CDM role where he was fantastic last time and also I brought on Felipe Anderson for Raheem Sterling and it's the second half now we should try and get back into this game but instead they had another chance here to go 2-0 up but, in for but fortunately sorry they do hit the bar and that was very lucky from us because from 2-0 I don't think we could have come back and they paid for missing that chance in the 59th minute of this game Zlatan dances past the defense shoots and he does score and that's I think his no, I think we didn't score against Florio, did he? I just don't remember. But anyways, he's playing really well for us, finally now in this season. But look at that for a strike. This moment, I was shocked what happened here. I just couldn't believe. Pablo Piatti from... Man, that, that was some distance he scored from. Yeah, I think that was outside the box. Just look at that for a strike from Pablo Piatti. The keeper had no chance. I'll be showing you guys from another angle. So just look at that. I think that was on... I think that was a half volley he did that. That was just amazing from Pablo Piatti. I can only applaud that and because of that we do end up losing this game and yeah that was some individual brilliance from Valencia or from Pablo Piatti and apart from that guys we are now you know in second place in our Champions League group with we, we just one point down locomotive apart from that guys as Diogo here requested me to change uh, Marco Royce's number to 11 and that's what we're gonna be doing here and yeah he's now he's number 11 and obviously nobody else had that number so there's no problem in doing that. Apart from that, guys, I'll be showing you guys the games we'll be playing in the next episode. Obviously, we'll be playing Stade A, and I don't know which team this is. If you guys know, then just let me know down in the comments below. Apart from that, guys, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys in my next video.